Hey everybody, it's Michelle at Cucabara Bird Shop, and I just thought I would do a quick live video. I've been having some back problems, so I haven't been doing as many as I have been in the past. It's hard to keep up with everything. Dawn's been trying to do some here and there, but there's lots of baby birds and we're busy right now. So just wanted to show you, we just got some July 4th uh, toys in that are great for summertime theme. If you guys are looking for... Um, some summertime themed bird toys. We've got the July 4th and be sure and check your email because I bet I'm going to put them on sale. Um, and maybe later in the day if I get around to it. If not, if you come in the store today, just be sure and ask us about them. I can probably going to do a buy one, get one deal. And they're lots of fun. Aren't they cute? Lots of red, white, and blue for the summertime. We also have these fun carriers if you're traveling with your bird. These are some great carriers. Um, if you go on our blog at cootshop.com, there are some, uh, there's an, I have a blog about how to travel with your birds. And there's also a blog on how to get your carrier set up in case there's any bad weather because we have those big thunderstorms and stuff in the summertime here. I'm going to just go ahead and walk around. I'm going to walk around over here because I got some customers in the store and I'm not sure if they want to go on the live video or not. And we'll show you some of the birds we have. We have Miranda. Don't forget you guys could come in and have your picture taken with Miranda when you check in. Because um, we're doing the check-in angel thing where we're donating to different charities. And this one, this month's a shoe charity. But if you want to get a picture when you check in on Facebook, we can get your picture. Just be sure and ask us. There's no, obviously no cost for that because Miranda is the world's friendliest macaw. And here we have our baby Alexandrian parakeets. Um, one's a boy and one's a girl. Not sure which is who. Have to look at their band numbers. Aren't they looking good? These guys are ready to go home. They're kind of a good bird if you want something that's quieter, um, that likes to talk, but they can be little chew chewies. We like to chew on their toys. They get gorgeous long tails when they get earlier, when they get older. Kind of have a, uh, kind of quiet right now. Then we have our little Senegal. Still have this little girl Senegal, and she's starting to talk a little bit. These are a great bird for an apartment. They're small, they're quiet, not too obnoxious. It's kind of good in the bird world. And let's see, over here we have our white belly kayak. Hey, cutie. How are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, look how cute you are playing with that toy. You're kind of blending into that toy, aren't you? All right, and look who's sitting out. Our Derbian, just it's the first day out today. He's not sure what to think. This is another Asiatic parakeet. They're kind of quiet, unlike Scallywag over there who's screaming in the background. And they're similar. If you can't find information about the Darbian parakeets, they're similar to the Alexandrians. They're going to be quieter. They're going to get a nice long tail. They do have a little more color, if you can see their color that they have. They're really gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and go over here. We have our parrotlets on special. These um, dilate blues. Little girls are doing really cute. They're sweet. But... They do need to be sold, so we do have them for $99, which is a great bargain. If you're looking for a quiet bird for an apartment or something to start out with a kid, these are a great choice. Um, we've got three of these to choose from, and you can see they're really cute. And then look at our little half moons are out. We also have some cockatiels. It's another great first starter bird. And look at our canary singing his heart out. See if we can get them singing again. Of course, I put the camera up there and he's not going to sing. Okay, we'll go over here. Go see our cockatiels. Everybody loves the cockatiel. They're kind of one of your great first birds. They're easy going. Oh, what are you doing? Look at that cute little face. Um, great for children. Pretty tolerable. Easygoing personality. It's one of the easier birds. 
And they can learn to whistle. They don't usually talk. They can learn to whistle. This one's called a cinnamon. It's just a color mutation. And then we have our half moons. There's their first day out. These little guys, if you want a little parrot that can learn to talk, I had a St. Thomas parrot for 25 years that was very similar to these um, half moons. They can be a little bit noisy, but they can be pretty good little talkers. And you'll hear our singing canaries in the background. We still have several of those if you guys are looking for a canary. You can hear them. It's always nice in the background. Are you talking to me? Somebody's talking to me in here. I think it might actually be the parrotlet that's playing with the ball over here. Can you see that? There's a little tiny voice. You guys probably couldn't even hear it. I could barely hear it. Kind of sound like a dumb. And let's see what else we have in here. Look at, can you guys believe how big everybody's gotten? I know, look. Um, look at how big, remember these cockatiels a couple weeks ago? They were naked. Look at them, eating seeds. Isn't it amazing how fast they grow? And then we have a little girl, blue front Amazon. Look at how pretty she is. Remember her? She was naked a couple weeks ago. You can't even see her blue front. She's just going to take this week. It's amazing how fast they grow. And we've got more half moon conures. So if you're looking for a male or a female, we do have choices. And we have the regular blue parrotlet. Um, this one's kind of goofy looking. It's pretty young. And then we have the Congo African Gray. Who, this guy's already sold, so. This is Miss Crawford's bird. And then we have Lucy here. Here's Lucy. Lucy Goosey. Hello. Is that hot to like Lucy Goosey? She's going home today. And then we have more canaries. And we got some cockatiels that are going home today. She's like, leave me alone. I'm going to sit in my nest. It's actually her food bowl. They're being kind of quiet. What? What? What are you doing? How are you? Okay. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Remember these white cat pionis? Look at them. Aren't they pretty? This is another good bird that's good for apartments. Not quite as noisy. All birds are noisy, but some are quieter than others. Seems to be nap time. Everybody had their breakfast and now they take their nap. Okay, who else do we have? We have some sun conures somewhere. Where are the sun conures? Oh, here they are. Here are the sun conures. What are you doing? So maybe if I sit really low on this perch, you won't see me. I'm kind of a goofball. Aren't they cute? Oh my goodness, little baby sun conures. All right, let me go show you guys some of our Timma baby African grays. And we have a scarlet. We have some more scarlets coming. So if you were wanting a scarlet macaw, just like Miranda, we do have some of those coming. Here's our Alexandrians again. Oh, look at you. Our napping Alexandrians. It seems to be nap time. What time is it? Maybe siesta. They had their breakfast. Having a siesta. I hear our doorbell. We're pretty busy today. Just trying to make a quick video. I'll show you a couple more. Didn't get to it yesterday. Who that baby Scarlet? Oh, they locked you in. Why did they lock you in? Who locked you in? Can we see? Apparently it's not gonna, there we go. We're focusing on the bars and not, there we go. On the Scarlet baby. Oh, I'm gonna just be over here. There we go, oh, you napping. Oh, there we go. That's a good... Everybody's napping. Okay, so what do we have in here? I think we have some more cockatiels. Here's our little Timna African Greys. Aren't they cute? These are kind of a little... 
Um, they're going to have a horn-colored top of their beak, and they won't talk quite as much as the Congos. Oh, yeah, it's baby time, Andrea, definitely. Look, I can like your comment now. How awesome is that um, while we're doing it? Okay, Andrea, this is for you. Does that look familiar? <laughs> look at the little baby cockatiels. So I'm going to try to get an email out and update the website. I've been kind of lax because of my back has been out. But I've got been going to an acupuncturist. I'm sure you guys care. Seems to be better now. So I should be able to be get all this stuff updated. And no, look how cute they are. They think they're starving. They'd like to go back to sleep. Okay, I'm going to go back up. I'm going to finish with the, because there's a few people watching now. I think it's kind of a funky time for video, but it'll be up there for later. I'm going to go finish up with the 4th of July toys so you guys can come see them. I think John's look. See, people are scoffing them up already. So there we go. I'm trying not to get the people in the live video because I didn't ask them, so they might not want to be in there. <laughs> so far, they're not in there. I'm telling you guys in case you want to, but anyways, you can see there's... Fourth of July toys, guys. Okay, I'm going to finish up because I probably should get back to work. <laughs> no, I am having fun. Oh, there it is. Anyways, there's our Fourth of July toys. So we got something for small birds, medium birds. Nothing for the giant birds. I'll have to get her to see if she can't do some big Fourth of July. I always like the red, white, and blue. They're good any time of the year. Who doesn't want to be patriotic? Anyways, thank you guys. Have a good Saturday. Hope to see you soon. Bye.